Hello and welcome to Solution Cone. In this video, we are going to see how to insert values using a PHP script inside our database. So this is this was our code which we written previously for connect.php, and uh, we are going to make a new file, new PHP file, and we are storing it inside a PHP folder which we created and it would be insert dot php okay now inside this insert dot php we are going to make use of connect dot php to connect to our database and then we are going to write a query for inserting a new values inside our database okay so let's start first of all we need php Okay, and we need to include connect.php because I'm not going to write it again and again. We just we have this include uh, feature in PHP. We can include the entire code written here inside this. So just it is important to write the correct path for this. So let's see how to write that path now inside this xam folder we store entire thing inside htdocs this is the root folder if you store your php file anywhere and try to run it's not going to run you have to store the file inside the htdocs folder so you are inside htdocs folder and i have created i have not stored directly here and uh, just because the things get confusing so I have created this PHP folder and inside that folder I'm saving all my files like connect.php insert.php and many more will be coming so how to include that file okay so first of all I would like to tell you everything in PHP uh, in the XAMPP will point from htdocs folder this is the main root directory so we have to point everything from this folder and right now the connect.php is inside the php folder so php folder is pointing to connect.php okay so we have to go back to htdocs and then we'll point from php inside that we are going to include connect.php so here is it how it looks First of all, you need to go backward and here you will see PHP and inside that you will just include connect.php. Okay, now if you want to check, always try a habit to check your code initially. Correct, okay we'll see this if it is correct okay localhost inside that php inside that insert dot php it's taking time I guess this might be a browser's problem. Yes, connected to database and correct is pasted. Okay, connected to database means uh, we have written that in this section, like right here. Okay, so that's why that printed out and here. So we have successfully included that connect.php inside insert.php and now we are connected to our database okay so no need of echoing it now we have to write a query to insert so we'll store that query inside a query variable okay so for inserting values inside a table we have a query like insert 
into table name so let us see what's the table name of inside solution cone the table name is table underscore sc okay so it's like table underscore sc and the columns and the columns are id name and address they are case sensitive so you must be very careful id name sorry name address okay and values would be like values what you want to insert is like the ID we have made it as an auto increment so you can put null no need to memorize the last ID again and again okay null and the name what you want to put is as cone okay solution cone and it's like India maybe okay so this is a query okay now what we have to do is we have to fire our query so we'll make another variable and we'll definitely not make it all capital letters result and here my SQL underscore query and inside that we are going to paste our query <coughs> You can directly write the query inside this but it's a nice habit to store the query in a query variable and then just it looks nice actually but there is no uh, hard and fast rule that you have to write in this manner you can write directly the queries inside this uh, mysql underscore query method <clears throat> okay so what we have done is we have included the connect.php so we are now connected with our database also because here we have connected to our database also once we are connected to our database we have created a query for inserting values and then we have just tried to run the query and let's see okay insert that php okay there is no error that means we have inserted our values hopefully let's reload our this page oops the value isn't inserted so there must be some errors okay there is there may be some error so the error I found it as this is the most common error you have not put this inside single quotation mark this is the only problem because it's a string now you try to run your code still and when you reload your PHP my admin you can see that the third value is inserted so this is how you write the insert script in PHP this is used to insert the values inside your database so hope you like this video please like share comment below if you have any queries in the next tutorial I'll show you how to retrieve data from the database thank you